Hi everyone and welcome back to Chemistry with Kat. I hope you're all enjoying your summer and getting ready for school in the fall. Today we are going to cover solutions and specifically how to express concentration in molarity. Let's do it. When it comes to solutions, we have the solute and the solvent. The solute is what is present in the lowest quantity in the solution, and that's usually the solid that has dissolved. And then the solvent is what's present in the highest quantity. So if we dissolved salt in water, salt, sodium chloride, would be the solute, and water would be the solvent. Now remember, a solution doesn't have to be a solid going into a liquid. It can be two liquids mixed together. That's called a dilution, but it's still a solution at the end of the day. Molarity is a unit of concentration. It represents the moles of solute in one liter of a solution. The thing to remember is that volume always has to be in liters for molarity. And oftentimes in questions, they're going to give you milliliters. So make sure you know how to convert milliliters to liters. If you don't, I will link the video here to help you with unit conversions. The formula for molarity is the moles of solute divided by the volume of the solution as a whole in liters. Remember that volume can change with temperature, so molarity can also change with temperature. The problem we have with molarity is that when you have a volume, say you add 50 milliliters of one liquid with 50 milliliters of another liquid, that doesn't always add up to 100 milliliters. And we'll see examples of that later on my channel. That is a problem with molarity, but we say that it's small enough that it can be negligible. So molarity is still the moles of solute divided by the volume of the solution. I have this handy little triangle for you guys to memorize so you don't have to memorize the formula. This is moles at the top, molarity, and volume at the bottom. And the way we use this is say we're looking for molarity, we would just cover up the molarity and know that it's moles divided by volume. If we were looking for the moles, we would know that it's molarity times volume. And if we were looking for the volume, we would know that it's moles divided by molarity. I love these triangles. So anytime you can memorize them, do it. It'll make your exams and tests so much easier. My first example says, find the molarity of a solution that has 25.00 grams of copper sulfite pentahydrate in 250 milliliters of water. They're asking us for the molarity, so what we're gonna do is cover this up and we know it's moles divided by volume. So we have to find the moles. They've given us the mass, so we're gonna use our mass molar mass equation to find the moles, and if you need a review on that, I'll link my video here. So moles is going to equal the mass, 25.00 grams, divided by the molar mass of copper sulfate pentahydrate. I calculated that on my own to get 249.7 grams per mole. I suggest you find this molar mass on your own and make sure you get the same number as me because this molecule is a complicated one to calculate molar mass. When I punch this into my calculator, I get 0 0.1001 moles. You'll notice the grams cancel out and we're left with moles. So now we can go right to molarity. Molarity is going to equal moles divided by volume. So let's do 0 0.1001 moles divided by 250 milliliters, but we have to convert that to liters. Remember, molarity is always the moles of solute per liter of solution. So that equals 0 0.250 liters. And remember, if you need to review unit conversions, watch my other lesson. That equals 0 0.4004 moles per liter. Now, if they wanted only three significant figures, I would put 0 0.400 moles per liter. The next problem reads, a solution of HCl is 1.58 moles per liter. What volume is required to obtain 0.25 moles? So they give us molarity and they give us moles. So we're looking for volume. 
and we cover that up and we know it's moles divided by molarity. So volume equals moles divided by molarity, which equals 0 0.25 moles divided by 1.58 moles per liter. The moles will cancel out and we're left with 0 0.158 liters. Remember, this is in liters. If we had to do this in a lab to figure out what volume we need to add to a solution, we would probably convert this to milliliters and have 158 milliliters and measure that in a graduated cylinder. My last question is something you're likely to see on an exam. It says 0.45 grams of sodium hydroxide is dissolved in 250 milliliters. What volume of this solution is required to provide 0.57 moles of NaOH? So at the end of the day, they want us to find the volume. That is what our final answer is going to be. So let's cover up volume and we need moles over molarity. They give us the moles, but they don't give us molarity. So we have to find the molarity of this solution first. Molarity is moles divided by volume. Well, they give us the mass and the volume. So we can find the moles using the mass and then find the molarity. So the moles in this solution is the mass divided by molar mass, which is 0 0.45 grams divided by the molar mass of sodium hydroxide I calculated to be 39.998 grams per mole. The grams will cancel out and we'll be left with 0.01125 moles. Now let's find molarity. Molarity equals moles divided by volume which equals 0 0.01125 mole divided by, remember we have to convert this into liters, 0 0.250 liters. That equals 0 0.045 moles per liter. Now we have the molarity of our solution. Now we can find the new volume that's needed to provide these new moles. So volume equals moles over molarity, which equals 0 0.57 divided by the molarity we found, 0 0.045 moles per liter. The moles will cancel out and we are left with 12.67 liters. Wow. That's a lot of solution. You can probably see why this would be an exam question. There are three skills tested. Finding the moles, finding molarity, and finding volume. Classic. If you enjoyed this lesson, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I post every single day at 9 a.m. and I want you to be the first to know about them, so click that notification bell. See you next time.